I know I've fallen before, and of course it's always uh, scary. Yes. So I've known people to get badly injured, you know, uh, and she fell and she did fracture um, probably some ribs. I think my dad did. He, he fell a couple times as he, as he got older. Current methods for fall prevention require the patient to spend thousands of dollars on at-home devices or visit a doctor and start a conversation before they even know there's a problem. Our team wondered, what if we can predict a person's fall risk in the comfort of their own home using only their phone and intervene before falls happen? In order to solve the shortcomings of the current solutions, our team created a mobile application that can analyze a person's gait and predict the fall risk from this information. Our application, called GateMate, is simple and effective. When a user first opens the GateMate app, they will create their account through their preferred method. They will be asked to fill out their personal information, including name and age, as well as setting up a password for their account. After this page, they will be asked to fill out the initial questionnaire. This questionnaire is based on the activity-based confidence scale and is helpful in evaluating the user's confidence in different balance activities. The user will be asked to complete a simplified version of this questionnaire every month to keep the information up to date. Once the account is created, low frequency data is already being collected, but the user will need to walk in order to get their first fall risk assessment. This initial page offers information on how the data is collected so the user knows what to do next. Now, whenever the user is walking with the phone around their waist, data is being collected. Low frequency data is first collected using Android's significant motion sensor to detect motion. This sensor's low sampling frequency saves battery life. If motion is detected, Android's step counter is activated to detect when steps are being taken. If steps are being taken, the data recording is started and encrypted using a dual key process in accordance to HIPAA regulation. Data is saved on phone's local storage and also sent to secure storage on AWS's S3 service, where our sponsor's backend algorithm will determine a fall risk score, which is shown to the user in the app. After completing the first trial, the user can update the page and see their fall risk. This main page offers not only the risk, but also a short message of the findings and the recommended next steps. The user can also access more information about what the fall risk means. As the patient keeps using the app, they will have the option to review their past data and their progress. In summary, our team has developed a mobile application that will assess a user's fall risk, which will help prevent countless falls and improve the user's quality of life.